everybody, this is Bluto. I just want to welcome you to K-Dog Games, Toys, and More. Enjoy the videos. Hi all, K-Dog coming at you again. Bluto. Bluto still with me? I just realized you brushed your fur. I did like three videos ago. I yeah, Well, this is our third one we're recording, and I kept forgetting the comment that you brushed your fur. Well, thanks for eventually noticing. Hey, you didn't say anything about my hair. It's nice. Men. 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 Mon men and monsters. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So, this review. Obviously. Going to re uh, visit, you know, something I started recently. I actually thought I had all the dolls until I was digging a little further. And I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos that um I thought I had them all, but then I saw this doll with a larger T-Rex. So you're probably figuring out Cave Club, uh, a doll we're going to review. Well, here I was on Walmart's website, and they actually had her by herself. I mean, I want to get the set with her and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is it's, that the same? No, it's different because the Tyrannosaurus Rex is bigger. I think she can about actually walk. She's run. different? I think she is. I can't remember because um it's uh, the set's like $40. It's not a repackage, is it? No, I don't know. That's kind of why, like, I didn't buy the individual ones of the three I okay. have because they were basically the same. So, um, <sighs> having to order her to get her. Sorry. So, she comes with a little Teddy Rex. Teddy Rex. I don't know if that, it looks, actually it looks like it might be just a doll and not a dinosaur, the actual, like, dinosaur like the other cave clubs have. Now that I'm look, I'm looking a little closer, but we'll check it out once I get her out of the package. So, these guys are... Mattel, Spinmaster, Moose. Mattel. Ah! I couldn't find it on the back, and I'm looking. I'm like, we still got one, right? Yeah. So, um, I've really, if you watch my other videos with these, I absolutely love these dolls. I like how the young, the face mold, like I love her face molds, good too. I love the colors they use, the kind of retro '80s stuff with some of the the hair and the leg warmer stuff. Um, and I also like because they do look like younger. Doll, like younger kid, like kids, compared I I compared to like Rainbow High, Monster High, and Ever After. I'm I know I'm referencing some dolls that are okay, so no longer. Up. So, anyways, um, here's the back of Raquel's box, and it says, "Ever wonder who the first friends were? Meet the Cave Club, a truly unruly group of prehistoric kids who are way ahead of their time." And if you watch my other reviews with the individual ones, like each one has like an individual talent i guess is the best way to put it i'm not real sure what raquel's is supposed to be and i love how her name's spelled so let's go ahead and get her out of the packaging so we can check her out sure we will these ones are usually relatively easy to get out but this one is just packaged really weird to me for some reason tonight so you guys gotta let me know in the comments if you're collecting these or you know check out my other reviews like i said i think there's a couple of play sets i don't have and then I'm gonna whip that. I was thinking about <laughs> it. My garbage container is a little ways over because I have a ton of dolls to review with you. But I was I was contemplating throwing it, and I kind of changed my mind. So um, yeah, I think there's still a couple other play sets I don't have. Um, and I was looking on like I've been getting most of these off of Walmart. Uh, that's Teddy Rex flares with Emery. Or Emberly. Emberly. You don't even know. It's about the cow. Looks like she's got a little book. I love the colors on her hair, too. So let's see how she's attached. And, of course, we got the dreaded peg in the head. You can get her out. Well, I'm pulling her pigtails out. And I'm looking to see how she's nice. attached in here. She did her hair like that. What, the color or the pigtails? The two pigtails. I was going to say which, the color? You do like that and get a big lollipop. Yeah, that would, that would be about ooh, it. Okay, I've got one leg out. <laughs> All right, so let me... Should I cover my face? Not yet. You're doing that right in front of me. All right, these pegs are like right up against her head. I... Don't know why the toy companies insist on putting these pegs in the back of the doll's head. 
You say that in every video. Yes, I do. I, I want to get my point across because I have damaged dolls trying to get these pegs out of the back of their head because I've cut their hair. And that makes me very unhappy. So I don't understand why we need to have pegs in the back of the doll's head. Okay. So coming out and looking at Raquel, um, her hair is kind of like a teal. And then there's some purple. And this side has a little bit of yellow. She has yellow on both sides. It's the same colors on both sides. She has this diamond looking um, headband. It's being held in by a gummy. She has hair shedding everywhere. That must be the theme tonight is hair everywhere. Um, really love it. Love it. Like I said, I'll oh no, there's little pegs holding it in, but I keep those on there so they don't I don't lose the headband. Um, she is kind of a light brown skin. Like I said, these co I love the coloring on these. That's what absolutely amazes me. So she's kind of more maybe of a tan. She has. I look like I have horns. What? My hair looks like I have horns. A little bit. Um, Sorry. So she has like blue eyes with some purple eyeshadow, and then she has like a couple dots under both her eyes. She's got pink lips, and my. Phone, I hate your phone. My cell phone's ringing again. I'm gonna throw it at the door. No, you're not. Um, trying to look and see what else. Like I said, the face mold on these guys. I love it. It is so amazing, and it's different on each one of them. Then coming down into the body, so she has like a leaf and stone necklace on. It's kind of a harder plastic. Um, it's just separate in the back. I'll show you whenever I turn her around. So um, you can take it off of her. I don't know how easily, but I usually... Oh, it is being held in with gummies, so just be aware. Then she had... I thought it was a dress. That's why I was pulling this, because I thought it was caught. But it's actually like a little jumper that's shorts. That? That's kind of what... Well, it's one piece. So it's kind of reminded me like of that or a romper or something like that. Something oh, like a romper ugly. again. <laughs> I, Your you, big words. You actually remember me using that word before. Because you use a lot. So um, it's done like in like greens and pinks and blacks. It's really cute. And I love the fact that it's like neon colors in there. And then she has her little leg warmers on that are kind of like a neon green. Um, split it in the back so you can't take them off. And these guys don't have shoes. I should look at my other ones. I'm just curious if the feet's the same on all of them. But then coming to her back. So here's the Velcro so you could change her. And then I don't know how well you guys will see. That's coming in pretty good. You can actually see where it's kind of separated. So you can take that off. And then here's the back of her pigtails. which are They're actually not very stiff, which I'm surprised. But they're, it's abs she's absolutely adorable. Head for articulation, as Bluto likes when I do this. <laughs> And then you got the shoulders, the I'm gonna cracks. elbow, and wrist. Like your neck and knees. Yep. Hip and knees. And they do like that. the little sway. Yeah, that, that does sounds sound, like yours. Does sound like my knees. Um, nothing in the ankle. She is just absolutely adorable. Okay, then she comes with, all of them come with their own little Ooh. bone comb. Sorry. That rhymed. So then um, where the other ones came with little pet dinosaurs, like I said, she has that bigger set with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You get it. I probably will at some point. <laughs> she actually comes with a little, it, it says cute. Teddy Rex, but if you look very carefully, you can tell it's kind of like stitched. So it's just the stuff. Better than I'm a guessing, belly possum. Yep. And it's got teeth. Yeah. And then a little pink on top. And then she also had a little, there was hair on my computer. Oh. It wasn't mine. It looks oh, like a little storybook, but there's, or maybe it's a little picture frame because it looks like there's a picture of her T-Rex and a little heart. So, like I said, I'm not sure what her special talent is, like, compared to... She can do cartwheels. The other ones? I don't know. So, but she, apparently she has a big Tyrannosaurus Rex as a pet, so maybe... Maybe she can wrap and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Oh my God. So like I say, if you yeah. guys have not checked these out, you need to. They're they're amazing. I absolutely I think they're absolutely adorable. I don't believe this is based on like a TV series or anything like that. I haven't it's really seen anything. So like I said, I just happened to come across them, got a couple to check out, and kind of got addicted. Because so, why not? Yeah. 
because some of my other theories I collect, I can't. What else are you going to do? Save money? Yeah, why would I do that? Really? <laughs> Anywho, that is it for that that, that review. Do we finish week. this? That is it for this review. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, bell icon, so you know when I post new content. The Pluto's imaginary bell. Help share my page. I would greatly appreciate it. As I've been mentioning, I'm like, it's close. Cool, you're 500, hitting all your target marks. 500 subscribers, which would be totally awesome. That would you're make me there. so happy. I, My subscriber count has greatly increased in recent months. So. Because you're awesome. And everybody knows it now. Yeah. No, that sounded really conceited of me. Um, well, that's you. Subscribers, and as I'm like whipping her, subscribers and watchers, thank you. You guys are awesome, and I love and appreciate all of you. New subscribers, welcome aboard. Hope you're enjoying the madness. Watchers, subscribe. Subscribe. You want to subscribe to Kate All Games Poison More? <laughs> um. You can check out the other channel, Bluto and I do together. That's kind of on hiatus because we're revamping. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. If there's something out there you want me to review, let me know in the comments. And I always say something and you ignore it. Pound puppies and micro machines. And we discussed that in the last video. I know. So, uh, did I do everything? Yep. Okay. So, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.